Veterans Day at 929 this morning. Uh, officers from the Fargo Police Department, along with the Fargo Fire Department, were called to 417 Cold Street North on a report of smoke coming from the building. Uh, on searching the building for the cause of the smoke, as well as to get the residents out of the building, uh, Fargo, Fargo Fire found a, the, the body of a deceased female inside one of the apartments. Uh, throughout the course of the day, our detectives were investigating the cause of death, uh, also working with members of the Metro Street Crimes Unit and the United States Marshals, uh, looking for the residents of that apartment uh, who was located this evening. Um, it appeared that the female had injuries that were not caused by fire or smoke. Injuries to her. Uh, based on that investigation and other evidence that we found throughout the course of the day, uh, the resident of that apartment, Mr. Sheldon George Davis of Marco, was arrested this evening for the charge of murder and arson. Uh, at this point, I can go into any more information about the cause of death. Uh, there's an autopsy scheduled for 12 morning. Um, We'll be releasing the name of the victim today, we'll wait until tomorrow at some point. Uh, we do believe at this point that the uh, suspect and the victim knew each other. Uh, we're still working on what that relationship was. Uh, but, uh, that is the information that we have. So it's been quite a long day for all the detectives involved. Uh, but some good work being done, and still a lot of work still to be done. Take questions if you might have. Uh, he was located at another house in North Fargo. And what was it that led you to find him there? Uh, we had some information uh, from a resident, or not a resident, but a citizen, that led us to that location. Uh, I don't have that time on the top of it. Sorry. Uh, just for the deceased female. How about I don't have a specific number. Uh, I don't believe so. We're still working on the scene, so I don't believe anybody is going to let back into that building yet. Any estimates on the damages? I don't have that. The fire might have more information on that. I'm sorry? Uh, we had the United States Marshal Service and the Metro Street Crimes Unit. At this point, we just believe we have the one suspect. 